nice to be here at Manchester United's training ground in Carrington with Maya Letizia, Manchester United's number four. If you could pick your high of last season, what would that be? When we beat City at home, 2-1. Um, that was a really good game as well. The game that, that we played at Lee against City, yeah. I think, obviously they went, down, they went down to 10. I made a tackle like a few minutes towards the end and then we went up the other end and scored and then I think it, it cemented our Champions League spot, I think. It did, yeah. And it knocked City out, so it was, it was a massive game. That tackle, thinking it had sort of I images of, of a vintage <laughs> Manchester United defender, <laughs> Yap Stam, Nemanja Vidic yeah. and no, Mayla Tissier. But I just love it. Who, who would you say you kind of built the biggest relationship with on the pitch and, and off the pitch as, as well? The girls are great here, you know. We're so <laughs> together, like, it's so much fun. I think on the pitch, probably Mills. Obviously, I play next to her basically yeah. every game, I think it was. Definitely me and Millie, I think. Obviously, being sent half together, you have to kind of understand how each other play. And it's a 50 50. Mill might know what I'm going to do, so she can kind of react off of me, and vice versa. I can do the same for her. And, I think that's a great relationship to have. And off the pitch as well, you're quite close with Millie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think every, like we're all so close, like we just yeah, yeah. love it here. And, Sisters. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think you can see it on the pitch, you know. Yeah, you like, definitely can, yeah. We like doing a lot of team stuff out of um, out of United too, and I think it definitely kind of gels the team together. Rewind to the summer, Australia. Yeah. Your first England call-up was in November last year, which obviously must have been a very proud day. Yeah, it was You good. went out with the squad to yeah. Australia. Yeah. You then obviously came back. How, how was that experience for you? It was good. It was bittersweet, yeah. um, obviously being out there, but went out there, loved it, loved the country. Um, stayed out there for a little bit longer as well. Just had a bit of a holiday and just supported the girls as best as I could and they were great as well with me. Yeah, it was bittersweet to have to leave them and yeah. to watch it from home, but that's just something that as a, as a young player, you can kind of learn off that. And, like next time if it, if it happens, hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, like I can probably react in a little bit of a better way. Cut yourself a bit slack. Yeah. You, you've, done, you've done a fantastic job, but plenty of beaches out in Australia as well. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I, loved I can it. imagine. Told Mark I'm going to move out there. <laughs> I'm sure he won't be too happy about that. <laughs> What's one aspect of your game that you worked on last season and felt like you'd improved? Um, I think being on the ball. Um, obviously, when I was at Brighton, I wasn't on the ball too much. Um, more defending and kind of shaping, trying to stop the goals going in, but I think I obviously moved to centre half when I was here and it's a lot more about decision making and kind of seeing pictures so I think I, I've kind of improved my game and on the ball and um, I think I can still work on like, my decision making on the ball. You know, there's always so many different options like in front of you and everyone's screaming at you for the ball but yeah, I just have to remember to make my own decision and to kind of see where the space is and, and see like how I can get the players in front of me into the best position. What are your hopes for this season in terms of you as, as an individual developing in your game? Yeah, I think I'd like to be a little bit more of a leader on the pitch. I think we've had a lot of turnover in players, so I think even though I've been here a year, like I feel like I understand how we like to play and, and try and help the players that are coming in to do the best they can and to win games and stuff. So I think, yeah, I can take a little bit more of a lead on that. You were a born leader. Is that something you want to... Yeah, definitely. Like I think I did lead last season, but I can. I think I can do that a little bit better this season too. So finally, your aspirations as a club for the season? Yeah, just to win as much as we can. I think. Obviously, we were close last season, two points in the in the league, and then FA Cup. Obviously, we lost that one 0 But um, yeah, we want to go one further this season and um, do as, as well as we can. Great stuff, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure to talk Thanks to you. you. Best you. of luck for the season. Thanks.